feel like you're in a bad mood, Steve. Is this still about the wolf eating all the food rations? He can't help himself. He's a wolf. I know he's a wolf. Why would you bring him onto the boat? The wolf is great. No way we're getting robbed with this guy aboard. You're the worst! You're unhelpful, you're unreliable, and you're the last person I would want to share a lifeboat with! I can't believe you feel this way. Well, then, goodbye, Steve. You want someone helpful at sea? Then I'm your man. The name's Buck Wetnap, survivalist. Okay. I once survived four days in a Del Taco parking lot, extracting life-saving nutrients from puddles and bird shit. Why didn't you just go into the Del Taco? I'm a Taco Bell man. Check it out, Steve. It's like peeling an orange in one piece. I thought you were supposed to be some sort of survivalist. I am, and not one of those fake survivalists on TV. I have a web series. Idea. Why don't I use our supplies here and catch us some fish? That would be amazing. And now all we have to do is wait. I like to pass the time in survival situations by playing Candy Crush. You have a phone? Of course. A lot of people don't realize that boredom is the greatest danger when lost at sea. Have you tried calling anyone? I keep it on airplane mode. That's a survival tip for your battery. Hmm. Would you mind if we waited till the next billing cycle? I only get four minutes a month. It's a plan for seniors. Just call someone! You're right, you're right. Should I call Klaus or my friend Tiffany? Tiffany isn't speaking to me. Might not pick up. Klaus! Oh, yeah, I'm alive. Barely, man. My 20-hour flight from Korea didn't serve a single meal. So I guess there wasn't a biblical catastrophe. Well, not until Delta gets my harshly worded complaint letter. Heads are gonna roll, bro. Get to the part where you tell them we're stranded in the middle of the ocean. So, Klaus, we're stuck in the Atlantic. Pacific! Nerd. Anyway, we're in the middle of an ocean. We are not by the edges, so you don't have to check there. Just look in the middle-ish area. And we've got a wolf, so no rush. Oh, battery's dead. I can't believe you wasted our one chance to get rescued! Well, don't be angry. Let's pull up our fishing net and have some breakfast. Hmm, I guess I was supposed to tie one end to the boat. This is the stuff we would edit out of the web series. I spy with my little eye something that is white and red and black. My sun blisters. Bingo! You're great at this, Steve. I'm dying. You're just thirsty. The human body can only survive three days without water. That's why, in a pinch, just drink salt water. That's the worst thing you can do. Salt water just makes you more dehydrated. Because people don't drink enough. There's a tipping point when the delicious water overwhelms the harmful salt. Here, I'll show you. Tipping point, here I come! I feel incredible! It burns so good! Catch up, Steve! Roger, you're scaring me. I'm so close to the tipping point! No one's ever done it right. They've always given up because the sea madness makes them kill their shipmates. <sighs> Lifeboat's getting pretty cluttered. Tomorrow we're gonna have to throw some stuff in the sea. A lot of things are going to have to go into the sea. Oh, time for bed. Nighty-night. Um, it's, it's noon. You're lucky the moon's blinded me, Steve, or I'd suck you right in the nose. <coughs> the wolf and I have been talking. Well, he's been talking. I've been listening. We think you're plotting against us. What happened to the wolf? He found out my secret. Do you want to hear my secret? No. Okay. Stop, Roger! Just stop! Steve? Something happened. 